A TP-Link Omada hardware controller such as OC200 and OC300 is a professional Omada SDN controller with no need to run a PC or server. It provides 100% centralized management of Omada access points, Omada switches, and Omada routers, all controlled from a single interface. Featuring hybrid cloud technology, the Omada hardware controller allows you to remotely control the whole network wherever you are in the world with cloud access, and locally managed devices with the ultimate security and stability. In this video, we'll show you how to set up your hardware controller via the Omada app locally and remotely. Connect the controller to the network with an Ethernet cable and power it up. For OC200, it also supports PoE power supply. Wait about 6 minutes until the controller's cloud LED flashes slowly. Download and install the TP-Link Omada app. Make sure that your mobile device and the controller are in the same subnet. Open the Omada app and go to Local Access. Tap the plus button in the upper right hand corner. Select your controller to start the setup. Tap Let's Get Started. Set up the controller's basic information. Accept the terms of use and join the user experience program. Tap next. Select your application scenario. Skip configuring devices. We will show how to adopt and manage devices in another video. Skip presetting WAN settings. We can adopt and configure the Omada gateway later. Set up the wireless network name and password for your Omada access point. You can create a network for your guests if needed. Create a main administrator account for local login to the controller. Create a device account for the controller to manage devices on the site. Bind the controller to your TP-Link ID for cloud access. Confirm your settings and tap Done. Now you can adopt and manage Omada devices. Connect your hardware controller to the internet. Download and install the TP-Link Omada app. Make sure that your mobile device and the controller can access the internet. Open the Omada app and go to Cloud Access. Tap Go to Login. Log in with your TP-Link ID. If you don't have one, sign up first. Tap the plus button in the upper right hand corner. Make sure the controller's LED is flashing. Scan the QR code printed at the bottom of the controller, then tap done. Tap your controller and wait for the controller to prepare for quick setup. Tap let's get started. Set up the controller's basic information. Accept the terms of use and join the user experience program. Tap next. Select your application scenario. Skip configuring devices. We will show how to adopt and manage devices in another video. Skip presetting WAN settings. You can adopt and configure the Omada gateway later. Set up the wireless network name and password for your Omada access points. You can create a network for your guests if needed. Create a main administrator account for local login to the controller. Create a device account for the controller to manage devices on this site. Confirm your settings and tap Done. Now you can adopt and manage Omada devices remotely.